Ashley, do you want a drink? I would love one, sweetheart. Thank you. You ready to go, sweetheart? I am ready! Oh my god, Rosie, do you see that you see that rock in the Oh my gosh, what is Oh my god! Rosie, look! There's a girl out here. Yo, there's a bear. There's a bear. Oh my gosh. There's a bear. Drive. Drive. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, how do you know there's a bear? Because it was big and brown and scary and it had claws. Were you camping or something? Yeah, I was camping like right down here. And I had to go to the bathroom. Well, this is where our campsite is, so we'll go investigate some. Okay. Let's do it. Rosie, this truck is making some weird noise. I know, right? Isn't it kind of bumpy? Isn't your name Brittany? Yeah, Brittany. Oh, sorry, I didn't catch it earlier. I thought I thought that was what it was. But this truck's making weird noises. Oh shoot! Oh my god, the truck broke down. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Let's make a TikTok! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Shakira, what do you think is the problem? I think it must be a wiring problem. Oh my god! What? What is this? Oh, oh my, my gosh! God. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Hasta la vista, you bear. All right, a little bit of a lunch break here, but uh, we wanted to explain to you how this little thing works because that's what our grade's on. All right, so Bonner here is gonna explain to you how he built it, what he used, not exactly, but like the glue and stuff, and uh, how this thing works. So this is a piece of PVC pipe, I'd say about two inches thick, and then you connect it. This is your male end, and then this is your female end, and then you connect this female end to your bigger male piece, and this is where your gases are gonna be kept. In our case, our gas is propane. Then you would take another piece and connect it onto the bigger gas chamber piece, and then you wanna take the lid, it's a three inch lid, and then what you wanna do is drill out a hole and get you one of these little garlic nighters, about 14 bucks, and then there's two wires that come with it, and you'll see on the end there's different ends to where it connects. You'll wanna strip the wires, and connect them and cut them down so they're short and then bring them kind of close you're not gonna be able to see this but uh me and Kayla can see it there's a little spark that comes so once you spray your gas in you want to hold your gas on probably like for 15 seconds get it nice and full then you want to put this on and close it very tight as you can see you don't want to do what I just did there you want to close it very tight like so then in the same situation the girls were in there'd be a bear right there mm -hmm. and then you would and it would go off, but we don't have any gas in it. We will uh, show that in a minute. So now we're going to show you how it works. Uh, Bonner will show you with the propane tank and everything how it all works. You would please hold the cat. I got you. So you want to take your propane. You can probably use something else. This is probably the safest route. But uh, when you're doing it, you just want to have it halfway down. And uh, if by chance you don't have it halfway down, and when you pull the thing, it ignites, mm -hmm. this could possibly blow up. So don't do this a hit home kids so we're filling it up with the propane this is our gas and it's going to create a chemical reaction when we spark this little guy it's going to ignite it's going to combust because the gases have nowhere to escape so they're going to push the projectile out which in our case is an apple mm, an apple also you want to have your thing angled up because gas travels upwards so that way it won't leak out five minutes later it's nice and slowly and as you can see i'm doing this slow and tight so you want to make sure the gas does not leak and you don't want your lid to come fly off. Yeah. Now, Caleb, good. would please hold my torch. Now we're gonna hold it nice and steadily, like a baby, and on. Not like this. You can do it over the shoulder. This is probably the easiest way. Aim towards your tree. In our case, which is a tree, but we're gonna say it's a bear. A lot of boring math later. As you can see, you're gonna want to hold it in your hands, nice and steadily, or it could kick back, or you want to be able to drop it quick in case it explodes. So uh, we're going to hit our bear, AKA a tree. Send it. 
That's how it's done. So Quentin back there was standing around there about 50 feet exact and he had his phone out and he was timing it and it ended up being 4.6 seconds, which if we use distance over time, it equals 2.3 seconds. So after calculating and doing all that kind of stuff, we ended up always getting about 2.3 seconds. So that was our average. And uh, Clayton over here is gonna explain uh, all the physics and stuff behind all that stuff. This potato gun here uses mainly Newton's third law, which states for every action, there has to be an equal and opposite reaction. The equal and opposite reaction is whenever you put your propane or whatever gas you can use, aerosol, hairspray, anything that is combustible. And so you spray your wood gas in, but whenever you ignite the gas, the explosion has to have somewhere to go. So like when you shoot off a firework, it's got plenty of places to go. But when something is in a concealed tube like this, and there's like something, like let's say when you open a soda bottle, and uh, it kind of erupts a little because you shook it up. That is gas that's trying to escape, but there's a cap on the bottle so it can't escape. This is basically the same thing. The gas that you ignited in here, and there is uh, whatever you want to shoot, a potato, apple, some kind of something. There's that in there that's going to stop the gas from coming up. So the gas has more pressure than what is up here, aka your potato, and all that gas pushes out your projectile, which potato, apple, and it pushes out at a certain speed and certain distance but uh, you can make yours go faster harder shorter you can just have to adjust how big or how much gas you put in it Got anything to tell us, Barner? Uh, this is very dangerous. Don't try it at home. What if the viewers do try it at home? You didn't learn it from me. AKA a tree. There's our blue Yeah, that's a blue Did we get a hit with that? Oh, I forgot. Okay, what are you videoing or filming? See that? Whoa! Oh. Bear! Let me in! Let me in! There's a bear! There's a bear! There's a bear! Don't crawl on the ground with a snake. Crawl. Alright, well just like crawl on a... Count to 20 in your head. Brooks, who's in your... your group? Johnny? D'Lo and Robert. What are y'all doing? Child. <laughs>